Google just released a physical robot that can see objects and read text. Google just launched generative AI into all its big softwares. Unity Game Engine can now use ChatGPT to make a game. You can now Photoshop things with only words. Free open source text to video is now here. Is this the best or worst time to be alive because of AI? The genie is out of the bottle and it's not going back in. Google just released a physical robot that can see objects and read text. Look, it was tasked to bring me the rice chips from the drawer. And just like that, it opens the drawer, it grabs the chips, and the guy is literally taking it away from him. Kind of hashtag robot abuse here. Now, it's been trained on 562 billion parameters. That's three times larger than the brain power of GPT-3. You can also see that it's sped up four times as much. So it's very slow still. The only thing that's missing is voice command where it says, here you go, you lazy donut. It's also able to sort colored blocks into its corners. The impressive thing here is that it's trained on all this data and it can actually do things that it's not trained and programmed to do. For example, on the right, you can see that it's a coffee cup and it asks it, hey, give the red blocks to the coffee cup and it just does it just like that. It's also able to stack blocks vertically. Last time I saw somebody play with colored blocks like this was my eight month old nephew. Unfortunately for my brother, he's programmed to cry in the middle of the night. Google just launched generative AI into all its big softwares. Gmail, Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Images. Just watch this. You can write catch me up on this email conversation. And obviously in Gmail, you can just Ask it that and it will catch you up on that. It can help you write, I'm on it, and then creating a message in your style. Write a brief based on these emails and it integrates into Google Docs. Even turning it more whimsical, you can build a presentation about the campaign and just it goes into Google Slides and builds the entire thing for you. Even searching and creating images for you that you can add into your presentation, capture notes for us when it comes to meetings, and it could probably even summarize the entire recording for you. Personalized message for our clients. Here you go. Campaign conversations. Draft a thank you note to the team. And just like that, you got an email. You even have the I'm feeling lucky button, like a tradition for Google right there. A new era of getting things done. Microsoft just introduced AI into all its software. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and Teams. Just look at this. I love the rivalry between Google and Microsoft here. You can see, prepare me for my upcoming meeting. And it's generating an output. Here are some topics to prepare for your upcoming meeting. They are calling it Copilot. And it's basically integrated into all the softwares as a little extra assistant. You can ask it draft a product announcement based on Cafe AI and it will start generating an output for you and basically writing an article. Create a 10 slide presentation from the press release and just like that PowerPoint has you covered. You can obviously have it in Excel to analyze the data with Copilot. You can draft a response with my approval, but highlight key risks from the project. And just like that is writing an email for you. Here you can see it looks like you joined late. No worries. We'll capture a summary for you. And just like that, you can open and it could probably summarize the transcript so you can get up to date about the key points. Which products were the most profitable this quarter? Create a budget proposal and research project. Create a timeline for a product launch. Create an agenda for a customer and more things just writing out here. And it seems like it can do a lot of really cool things. So if you love Microsoft and you like its products, this is gonna be perfect for you. And I can't wait to see how this AI war between Google and Microsoft will actually end up. Comment down below who you think will win.
Is this the best or worst time to be alive because of AI? Raul Paul writes, this AI moment of GPT-4, Palm E and stability AI is literally a N deflationary and is by far and away the biggest deflationary shock the world has ever seen in the shortest ever period of time too. And is the easily the biggest technology shift humanity has ever faced, maybe exceeding that of the N itself. As Microsoft rolls out this technology out into Microsoft Office, it will scale to over 1 billion users in probably months, changing the nature of work itself forever. Nothing has ever happened like this before, and we're all spinning to get our heads around what this means for literally everything. This disruption to knowledge workers is beyond our imagination, both good productivity and bad less jobs. The opportunity it offers by leveling the playing field for poorer countries is also a systemic shock. The genie is out of the bottle and it's not going back in. What a crazy time to be alive. I'm really worried about a world where all problems are solved by AI and not by humans. It's really up to governments to create safety for humans. LinkedIn just added GPT-4. You're now able to generate profile copy and job descriptions. You can see how it works here. Enhance your profile with premium. And just like that, you can save a new headline. You can refresh the about page and just click on save and it says all done there's already many people using chat gpt to write resume achievements and tailor your resume to a job description using chat gpt to create a professional summary even just writing a linkedin summary itself my personal favorite to write a cover letter that is personalized to the job description even applying to jobs so imagine if you can just find a job with ai you can apply to the job with AI and you can get the AI to do the job. Unity Game Engine can now use ChatGPT to make a game. Create 100 cubes at random points and it just runs. Now move the cube game object so that Y equals abs Y. And just like that, it happens. Rotate cube game objects randomly. It runs again and it rotates. Create a large floor object with a collider and just like that we got a floor move cube objects three units proper and there we go create 10 point lights at random points and just like that we got lights as well set random colors to the point lights and we got the rainbow going increase the intensity and the range of the point lights amazing add rigid body component to the cube game objects start play mode and just like that, we got the physics simulation. Absolutely amazing. This creates a whole new workflow for all future games. You can now Photoshop things with only words. Stability AI just made a plugin to Photoshop where you can select a color like blue, for example. Then you can write the in-paint section with, hey, I want a river here. Then you can select this box and say evil headquarters. And just like that, you have multiple different ways of creating that. Writing a little red dragon in the top there and selecting between the different styles. Also here, creating a sun and writing it like just like that. Airship painting into the side. You got another one coming in hot with missiles. Hopefully going towards the dragon there. It's absolutely insane. Here you get another one with hamburger. I don't know how that will work. Basically turn into a oil painting hamburger, just lower right hand corner there. And that's it. You're able to download it right now with Adobe Exchange. People have ranked it with 4.6. It looks like this is the future of Photoshop. Free open source text to video is now here. You can literally write anything you like, like rocket launch to space and just click on generate video. And you can see here that it's generating the video. It's only going to give you about two seconds, but here are some of the results. A teddy bear running in New York City. Obviously, legs looking a little wonky. Astronaut riding a horse. So you got a giraffe underneath a microwave. Here, a panda bear driving a car. 
Here you got a drone fly through a fast food restaurant on a dystopian alien planet. Here you got a dog wearing a superhero outfit with a red cape flying through the sky. Here you got monkey learning to play the piano. Here you got a litter of puppies running through the yard. Here you got a robot dancing in Times Square. Wow, this one actually looking amazing. <laughs> and here we go. You can even download these files and use it on your own laptop. You see, the results are a little wonky, obviously. I'm thinking give it a couple of months and the results are going to blow our minds. Subscribe and I'll update you when that happens. Okay, here we go. We just generated our own text to video. <laughs> I mean, it looks like what I wrote. All I'm thinking is make it pointier. <laughs> now let me show you the two coolest AI tools I found today. You can now download NVIDIA Canvas for free and use AI to become a master painter. Just look at this. All you need to do is draw these really weird shapes on the left and it will turn into realistic images on the right. As you can see, drawing in some clouds there, changing the style into different day and times. Here you see the current on the left side and then the update being way better and more realistic than what it was before. This new model creates way sharper images that aren't that blurry from the last model. You can also see that you add materials as you want. So here's grass, then you have a path. Here you get some sand and rocks. And look at these amazing photos that people have made with this tool. This AI video generator is way different than I ever seen before. It's called Plasma Punk and you basically choose music and it turns into a video. I'm going to upload a song. Now I'm just going to choose a section of the song. So I'm just going to play here. Somewhere around there. Cool. Now I selected a part. I'm going to click on next. And here you can choose a video style. Do you like any of these ones the best? I tried the cartoon one already. Let's try the masterpiece style. Click on next. So here we have the style description. Masterpiece by John Berkeley. We get a cat eating a burger as the content description. Let's try Cyberpunk City with flying cars and click on generate video. Seems I'm in a queue at position four. Now let's wait. While we wait, I'm going to show you another one. Here is one that I created already. It got this crazy cool old school vibe. And I made this in a cartoon style. It see the way that it changes is completely different than what we've seen before. All right, it takes about less than a minute once I'm first in queue. We're at 93% here. All right, let's go here. You ready? All right. I love the way it's generating. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn, I love that it gets new styles and oh wow, I should have done even longer video. This is really cool. All right, everybody, subscribe down below and see you tomorrow. Peace.